Now, tonight on ITV, there's a documentary, a filmed in a Yorkshire wedding shop, follows three brides ahead of their big day. The wedding shop goes behind the curtains of the busy confetti and lace store in Leeds. We meet Tammy, whose mum uh, isn't invited to the wedding, Jo, who's renewing her vows, and Natasha, who's marrying her childhood sweetheart, ten years after they first broke up. Uh, Abby Lewis is the owner of the shop, and she's joining us on the line now. Abby, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Peter. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, on this bright, sunny Yorkshire day. Yes, are you looking forward to seeing yourself on the telly? Uh, no. <laughs> well, uh, will, 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 will we like to see you on the telly, or yes, what? Yes, I think so. It's it's, uh, it's a bit of fun, it's light entertainment. Um, ITV filmed us over nine, nearly ten months in um, in our Cafetti and Lace of Leeds store, also in Bryce of Harrogate, which I also proudly have. Right, well, you, um, must be, you must be rolling in it. Um, <laughs> no, not quite yet. No, my, uh, my boat off the shore in the Algarve isn't quite ready yet. Well, <laughs> you, well, you tell me when it is ready. You tell me when it is. So I is, will. You'll be the first aboard. Well, thank you very much indeed, Abby, for that. Um, now, is the choosing of the wedding dress, I mean, is it, is it I mean, I'm not married, uh, is it a big event? It's a massive event. It's, uh, obviously, it's, for most people, it's the biggest day of their lives. And the dress plays a massive part as well. But seeing as you're not married as well, we do... Um, I've actually got Yorkshire men's wear, so we also do the men. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing you in my store so sometime soon as well. Well, well, so. well, well thank you very much indeed. I'm, I'm getting... warming up my tape measure as we speak. <laughs> 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 right, OK, well, that's the best offer I've had all day. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I heard those two ladies on earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I've had my hands full. <laughs> so how long is the bride usually in the shop for? Uh, around about an hour and a half. Right. Although our longest appointment we ever had lasted the whole day seven hours. <laughs> Literally didn't want to move, so... Uh, that can happen, um, but we do have people that stay for a few hours because I think something like the bubbly that we serve in store uh, and the whole, you know, relaxing environment. I've almost sent out for sandwiches before for people. Oh, so. I mean, imagine being stuck with them all that long time drinking. And, and is, is drinking champagne, is that, is, does that go on in, in most bridal shops? Is that part of the...? I, I don't think so, but I, I introduced it a few years ago. It's, um, it's not too alcoholic. Our, our idea is not to get brides too drunk, but to get making sure that it's a nice celebratory occasion. Um, and and it is. It's really lovely when you get someone who's found the dress of their dreams. They're stood there with their family, clinking glasses. It's it's something that they remember and they look back on. And you know, when you when you buy a house, they say you see an average of fourteen houses before you choose on one. Do do people do that with wedding dresses as well, and wedding shops, or do they go to the one shop and then you, you and that's be, be, basically it? I think most most brides now. I've, I've been in the business now for about eight years. And I've seen the industry change and bride attitudes change. Most brides will try on about an average of 12 to 14 dresses. Some find the dress straight away. Some, some feel the need to go to every bridal shop. So um, we try to help that as well and make people feel comfortable. If they find the right dress usually and they still go off and, and have appointments, they're usually back to us as well. So we don't mind that. We do bridesmaids. We see a lot of bridesmaids in store. Um, prom's also big at the minute too. But uh, in terms of the programme, for us, it's such a big thing for Yorkshire. We're really looking forward to it because it's filmed here in Leeds and in our Harrogate store. So and since the programme's aired, we've also got... Opened another store, Abigail's Bridal. Oh, wait, 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 just, just, just give it, give it, give it, a, give it a rest, Abby. Give it a rest. <laughs> I can't help it. Well, I know you've got, you've got to, you've got to. So you can't. You, you just, you just go into a natural mode of of, of plugs. Well, we're, I'm stopping it here. See That's I'm, okay. how ma I'm, how masterful, how masterful I was there. You were very good. Rain me in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, w w when a couple come in or yeah. well when she comes in and then she's she's fitted for the wedding dress and then there's quite a gap isn't there between then and the wedding day mm. so do they then lose weight uh yes they can do we are quite often actually so it's usually about a minimum of six months we have got bookings into 2016 would you believe now where girls have actually booked the wedding dress and um, they can lose weight, quite often they do. So we can take down at least two dress sizes, that's not a problem. 
some go the other way and become pregnant. So that poses, <laughs> 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 that, that poses somewhat of a you know dilemma to us when you've ordered a maybe you know a size twelve or fourteen dress for somebody and they turn up. And sometimes we've had very heavily brides turn up at a fitting. So um, yeah. yeah, interesting challenges. But I'm, I'm sure you could work for the diplomatic corps. So you manage to get round that somehow, don't you? We uh, do. Yeah, we do. We put extra panels in or a lace back. What, what about the bride's father? Because I, I saw a, I saw a clip earlier. I mean, there's some chappy. I mean, j I mean, you have oh. to deal. Yeah, you can. You may well go <laughs> like that. Yeah. Well, it, that was um, that was Chris on on the program on the clips. Uh, that's Tammy's father. He's an absolute character. He has Mohican haircut. And I know I heard you mention earlier, Tammy's mum wasn't at the wedding. There was a family fallout, so which was a shame. But during the course of the programme, you'll see Chris's hair and his Mohican haircuts change colour. He's so he's such a nice, nice ageing rock, rocker um, dad. His his ex wife Tammy's mum actually does his hair for him, so it's a very bizarre. Oh, that, that that that's just weird, isn't it? I mean, that's just weird. <laughs> it is, it is. But he's so proud, bless him. But and the bride's father doesn't normally come along to the fitting, does she? Does he? Uh, well, no. But but increasingly, we are actually seeing more, and it's a little bit difficult for us because obviously you've got other women, uh, other brides who are getting changed in the shop, and sometimes I've had to sort of politely move chaps around. Sometimes I've thought. It's a man, you know, a father turning up um, for a bride's appointment, and actually it turns out to be a man wanting to try wedding dresses on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also been a challenge. We have done that before, which is, you know, just for a bit of light entertainment. So uh, we well. closed the shop and had, had a couple in. It's, uh, it's very interesting. Well, listen, we, we should be we should be watching tonight. Um, oh, I hope so. Uh, two two quick things. Num number one, uh, don't forget the don't forget the tape measure because uh, I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> Absolutely. And don't forget when you've got the boat in the Algarve. Yeah, I I'm sending you an invitation right now. In the well, boat. I'm going to hold you to that, Abby. I oh, well, I'm hoping now that you know now I now we can get. You've got an incentive, person. you see. Well, that's it exactly. So as long as all of your listeners. Can watch the ITV programme at nine o'clock. I don't think you're able to have a conversation without trying to do plugs, are you? <laughs> I've put I, you on. I've put you on the ban list for ever coming on this programme ever no, again because you, because you you that. you are unable to have a conversation without working in a plug. Uh, well, you haven't seen me sell wedding dresses yet. I'm fit wedding dresses. I'm well, super super good at that. Well, <laughs> I, I'm sure you are in one of your twenty seven businesses that you run. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll watch you tonight, Abby. Thank you. I'll and I'll do the same to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Bye. Nice to talk to you, Peter. Bye bye. bye. Oh, lovely lady, uh, Abby Lewis, uh, at the uh, wedding shop. Uh, Programme is on uh, ITV tonight, a little bit later on. Uh, Mid evening, if you want to tune in.